Bonsai is a very interesting hobby, and I'm with George from the Division Street Portland Nursery. And George, you are a hobbyist in, in bonsai. Yes. And so you're going to give us some tips maybe for the beginner. Somebody that's I'm, been interested in it, and so what do I, what am I getting into? What's, what's it all about? Um, it's mostly about the art form, about mm. the fun of it, the enjoyment of sure. it. You know, it's not the bonsai in an hour thing. It's a mm. can be a, a few years or a lifelong experience that you enjoy. Right. Um, and just with the right tools, it makes it a lot easier to, yeah. to enjoy. Ah, so maybe we can talk about plants because we all love plants. We're the geeks, so yep. uh, let's start with plants. Plants are, you've got evergreen styles, so the kind that will hold their needles throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Then you also have the deciduous styles over here, like this hornbeam here that will lose its leaves every year. They both have their beauties. Uh, the evergreens will have what's called a timeless beauty. It doesn't change as much, whereas the seasonality of a um, deciduous style will take on you know, the spring colors, possibly flowers, and then the winter structure of the branches. It's really, really cool. That is neat. So you have like all seasons in that one little pot. Exactly. That's really cool to see. Yes. And then what about even indoor? Indoor, a um, little more challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, most people don't provide enough light. That's kind of the initial thing that people think, okay, well, I can do this. I've got enough light. Most people don't. Ah. So I do sometimes steer people to go outside first when they're starting because they'll have more success. Ah. Um, I personally keep my bonsai outside year round. Some wow. people say they'll move them into a cold frame or something like that. But mm -hmm. I personally let them fend for themselves and I just let them stay out there all year long. Yeah, they're outdoor plants. So really they're not going to want to come in Correct. unless maybe for a night if you're having a party. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you can do that. You know, people say, well, I want to bring it in for, let's say, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a living plant or a living Christmas tree. You have to acclimate it in and acclimate it out. So just be very careful with that. Uh -huh. As a beginner, then, what, what kind of plant should I start with? Um, what I would probably start with is either a juniper, a pine, hornbeam, or maple. Those are the most common ones. So you've got, you know, your junipers are here, mm -hmm. a lot of different styles. You want one that has a structure to it, not one that just necessarily hangs over without any support. Okay. Um, you can go into larches here. The, a lot of people think this is an evergreen, but it's actually a larch will lose its needles in the fall. So it's actually deciduous. Um, and another deciduous one we have is the hornbeam again. That It's just a great, great starter plant. And then again, a lot of the maples. Uh, well, and I see this pine up here that looks very mature. So if I got a small pine, would I get that in 20 years? Most likely not. Uh -huh. um, if you're going to put it right in the pot and start from there. In most cases, most of your larger bonsais are actually planted out in the yard for a while just so that they can trunk up. Okay, so if I wanted to get something like that, I almost have to start with a bigger plant and then use it as a bonsai train it down the road. Correct, yes. So again, that's the lifelong process. <laughs> right, right. And then I see there are some um, tools to have. So let's go over some of the tools that we would need. Okay, there are some basic tools. Uh, the most common would be the um, shear. This is what you're going to use a lot of the time because other than going in and chopping out a huge branch, most of the maintenance that's involved in bonsai is dealing with little branches. Mm -hmm. And so a shear like this is going to be your most used tool. Okay. okay. Then the second most used tool, in my opinion, would be the rake. This rake here, um, it can be used as a rake to rake off the top of the soil. It can be used in the repotting time as a rake to uh, rake the roots down straight so that you can trim them. Um, they, it has a spatula end that you can use as a tamper as well as a depotting, like almost like a shoehorn to get um, okay. trees out of their pots. Oh, okay. Those are the most common ones. Then I do recommend that you get a case for it because if you're like me, who's the <laughs> mad, uh, mad hatter when it comes to uh, doing my bonsai in the middle of winter or whenever the potting time is, I will use the tools. I'll make a big heap of uh, yard debris, let's say, in the kitchen on the paper. <laughs> and then I go and I clean up and I throw everything away. And then I realize two months later that I threw away one of my beautiful tools. Right, they're in the compost Yeah, oh. so by having a case like this, you can actually kind of inventory your tools just to make sure you grabbed everything. Of course, of course. <laughs> and then I see there is special soil. Yes, it's important that you use a bonsai soil or a soil that drains very, very well. Um, don't use just a regular potting soil because it'll hold too much moisture. Okay, and then wire, that's important? Wire is important and there are different gauges of wire. So as an example, this one is a one millimeter and then we can step up to a four millimeter, five millimeter and anything almost in between. The wire is used basically on the tensileness of the branch. So how do you tell what size wire to use? Usually you take your thumb and bend the branch that you're working with here and then you can take the wire end of it and bend oh, that thing and see that if it is the same tensileness because we don't want it that much stronger than the tree itself. Right. 
And so I can see that this is a little bit more complicated than just like you said, a one hour bonsai. And so you have a special event happening today at the Division Street um, store. Yes, we are having our customer bonsai show. Okay. Um, this is our fourth year. Um, our customers bring in their own projects of any sort, any size, any style, and technically any quantity. <laughs> and uh, we just have a really fun day with it. Ah, and so there's like a popular vote, so if somebody um, wins, yep. prize? Uh, we'll have prizes, uh, first, second, and third prizes, as well as lottery prizes. And that way anyone has an opportunity to win. Oh. And it's, it's more so for fun than anything. The, and yeah, it's just a great time. It sounds like a great day. And there'll be um, people around to answer your questions. The Bonsai Society will be there. Um, yep. Your staff will be there, you'll be there. Mm -hmm. And so there's gonna be a lot of activity about Bonsai. Uh, you can get your questions answered and just have a good time. Yes. And George, something else is happening tomorrow also with the Bonsai Show. Yes, um, after the Bonsai Show, the next day we're gonna have the Irish Society Show. And so they're going to come in and they're going to show off all of their tall irises in this oh, wow. particular show. So that'll be a fun event. It'll be from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Ah, so you know there's lots of events going on at the Division Street Portland Nursery. So it's Father's Day weekend. So if you have dad and you want to find something to do, it's going to be a great time. If for any more information, please go to GardenTime.tv and we'll click you over to their website.